Okay, let's continue the MooGraph menu and reach to another interesting tool called MooExtrude. This is the extrusion for polygon and the difference between the other cloner. It is for uh, affecting the polygon of one object uh, in effector. It means, for example, you can create a plane and as you can see, <clears throat> we have a a polygon object here okay you can simply extrude each polygon and affect the planar <coughs> effector to that so the mugraph extrude for cloning as you can see this isn't like a deformer object so we have to make a child object and as we can see it's automatically extrude the objects Okay, if you go to do if in the settings, we have an object. I explain later root and uh, per step. Oh, this is easy. Uh, here, first transformer, as you can see, is it because of the normal? It's going to the Z direction in this direction. You have to, to experiment. And as you can see, it's automatically, it is uh, from root if you set it to per step it's better c to if you use effector okay if you if you use effector and explain that and in a transform as you can see you can turn the value of the z direction here you can add rotation to your polygon <coughs> in any direction that you want and of course here is a for a scale because there are uh, getting t uh, thinner in at the end okay you can use this an interesting part of the cloner the object is this uh, effectors you can use the effector before that we are going to the polygon selection okay we need the polygon selection you have to make it editable turn it off going to its polygon <clears throat> it's a live selection you can select some polygon that you want here and you have to set it select store selection and this is our selection you can deselect it and go to the uh, mu extrude and if you want to just these uh, polygons that you selected effect you can select mugraph and drag and drop polygon selection now you can see just those polygon will be affected by uh, polygon by more extrude a sweep spline is very interesting for example to better understanding I'm going to the here and sketch a simple polygon a simple um, spline and it's follow this extrusion is follow this spline go to the more spline and polygon uh, sweep Spline, drag and drop it. Interest, but it is in that direction. We can go to the transform and transform it. Uh, in this case, for example, in this case, let's try to another object sphere. Uh, it's in a cloner here. Also, it's there. <clears throat> Mextrude. Make a child. It does not important. This is editable. Here you can define the the axis. You can turn it down. Yep. And you can, for example, bring an arc there. It's follow that arc direction. Move. Extrude. Go into the object and then drag and drop that arc. And now you can see the extrusion follow the uh, arc spline. <clears throat> Interesting part is that you can go to the arc and change the angle. Interesting. Yeah. Start and end. Interesting. And you can go to the Mu extrude for a smoother uh, polygon. You can change the extrusion steps. And as you can see, we have more smoother object there. So this is all about the transform. Now, uh, to s explain difference between from the root and per step. 
For better understanding that, we have to go back to our plane, <clears throat> our extrusion, make it a child. Yeah. And in this case, I go into the transfer, make it a higher. And I want to, uh, and the most important thing of the more extrude is that you can use the MoGraph effector to this tool. For example, plane effector. In a plane effector, it's better to turn off the position. Okay. First, turn off the position, go into its field and make it linear. And uh, first, turn off. As you can see, you cannot define anything because it changed its position. So you have to back to the position and this is not Y axis. You have to change it in a Z axis. It's about the normal. And now you can affect it here. You can see uh, we have two different extrusion. This is about the position. As you can see, it bring it up from the root. As you can see, can change it. And we have another extrusion that this distance it's controlling by MoGraph transfer so they are different don't be confusing if you go to the Mo uh, extrude and change it from root to the per step as you can see it's instead of calculating that position it calculate that position in a plane effector this is a parameter in this direction from the root of that object till here but if you go to the move extrude and select it per step it does not calculate it's calculate per step that uh parameter here and it's go way up nice okay so here you can change the root and here we have our effector. So as you can see, you can change your effector. You can change any field that you want. For example, the random. Nice. As you can see, you can change your random. This isn't just, it's not objects. This isn't polygon of, of that uh, object here select uh, for example radial no no radial no capsule for example it's not for this direction don't forget that shader sound spherical now you can change it spherical it's nice so this is on one object don't forget uh, don't forget that and you can use effector and another thing that if you select that yeah it's an effector it's empty transfer and i explain all of them and as you can see it does not have create any cap for that you can see you can go negative as you can see So this is an move extrude for extrude the polygon of the object that you can use your effector here. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.